Welcome to the tutorial creating patches. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to finally cover these black lines that right now exist around the joints of the elbows and knees. So to do this we're going to use symbols. So the first thing we're going to do is select the upper arm in the timeline and then select and then shift select the entire row. Then we're going to go to the top bar and click on this Lego block which is the automatically create symbols button. It allows you to rename the symbol and in this case I'm going to keep the layer name. So I'm going to click on OK. And now the symbol is actually in our symbol library. So if we click on the library tab, we can see it here under the folder symbols. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop this in the timeline just above where the, oh actually you know what I'm going to do first. I'm going to delete Karate Arm 02 um, from the timeline and then I'm going to drag and drop the arm um, in the exact place that it was in the timeline. So it looks exactly the same as it did uh, before I inserted the symbol. So now what I'm going to do is edit the symbol and I can do this by double clicking anywhere here on this bluish purple film strip. And you can tell that you've entered the symbol by several indications. The most obvious right now being that there's this huge crosshair um, in the center of the camera view which is actually the center of the symbol. Um, everything just got grayed out in the scene. Um, also here at the top you can see the name of the symbol as well as the icon for the symbol which is a Lego block as well as the way that you can get back into the scene so the way that you can exit the symbol by going back to the home or the top. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete all the extra exposures for the first drawing of every view. Um, right now we have eight extra exposures for the first two views and I think uh, three extra for the last because extra drawings exist for other body parts such as the mouth and the hands but we actually don't need those and in animate it's really easy to get rid of them you just need to hit the minus key and it'll delete all the exposures coming towards your selection So the next thing I'm going to do is take this red bar and drag it across so that only the three drawings are exposed. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new drawing layer and rename this layer Patch. Then I'm going to select the entire drawing for the first cell, copy it, and then paste it onto the second layer, so the patch layer. I'm actually going to disable the um, Karate Rabbit O2 arm layer from view in the camera frame. And then I'm going to zoom in. So what I'm going to do here to create the patch is actually get rid of this thick black line for both the shoulder and the elbow, leaving the fill um, as is so nice and rounded. And I'm going to do this using the Contour Editor tool. So like that. And don't worry right now about this kink that you see here between the upper arm and the forearm. Once we exit out, you'll see exactly what this looks like. So the next thing I'm going to do is re-enable the Karate Rabbit O2 arm. 
If you don't like enabling and re-enabling this arm so that you don't get confused between the two copies, another way that you can work is to enable the light table and the show current drawing on top option. That way when you're working on this black line, it'll truly disappear and leave a gray line underneath instead of making it look like the black line um, didn't get changed at all. So the next thing I'm going to do is open the data view and then uncollapse the patch layer as well so that you can see all the options that you have when animating um, in terms of making a transformation. And then what I'm going to do is choose the transform tool and it highlights my current selection. Then I'm going to put the focus, so it's this red line right here that's currently around the timeline. I'm going to change that focus to the camera view by clicking somewhere in the camera view. And then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt, and the down key and hit it about three times. And as you may have noticed, in the Z position row, the number got changed from 0.0, .0 to 0.003. The best way that I can explain to you what just happened there is by going to the top view. So if we zoom in a little, and I'm going to actually reselect this, you can see that right now you can only see in gray um, the other arm because there's only two layers in here. So we're looking at the Karate Rabbit O2 arm that's highlighted and this is the patch that's highlighted. You see that physically in space from a, a aerial perspective or a top view is in front of this. So the patch is in front of the Karate Rabbit O2 arm. Um, and so when you're looking at your keypad, your arrows, your up and down and side to side arrows, when you click down you're actually coming forward or towards the camera or towards your computer screen and when you hit the up arrow you're actually going away from the computer screen you're going you're receding into space away from yourself so you really have to think of your keypad in terms of an aerial perspective like this and the reason that we did this is because we want the patch to sit on top of both this arm here, that's the forearm, as well as the other copy of the upper arm. And the reason we want this is because we want this blue part to hide the black line of the forearm that comes up and around. And we want the forearm to hide the back part of the Karate Rabbit upper arm. So basically, the upper arm's black line is hidden by the lower arm and the lower arm's black line is hidden by the patch because they're going to be staggered along the z-axis. I hope that makes sense and the only way that you can actually see this happen is if we go back to the top or the main scene which I'm going to do right now. So the reason that we can't see the arm is because we're currently on frame 4 and as it stands we only have drawings in the first three frames. So if we go to frame 1, we can see that we have a nice clean arm now. You can't see any black lines where the joints meet. And if I select the forearm with the transform tool and rotate it, you can see that it rotates smoothly on the hinge and that there's a nice little clean taper that looks quite natural to drawing. And the reason that is, again, is because the forearm sits above the arm in the timeline, but the patch from the arm sits above the forearm in space. So we're going to go back into the symbol because there's a few more things that we need to edit. The next thing we do need to edit in fact is the pivot and that's because currently if we go down and we select the pivot tool for the patch we'll see that it's not where it should be and that should be at the shoulder. So to fix this you have to select the layer from which you would like to take the pivot from for your entire symbol and for us that's the Karate Rabbit O2 arm we want to take the position of this pivot and then we go to the tool properties and with the pivot tool still selected we can click on this button here which is the copy pivot to parent symbol option. So if we click on that you'll notice that the crosshairs that were previously closer to the center of the symbol have moved up to where the pivot now is. And this is very important because when you animate, you want to make sure that all the components of the symbol move together 
and move it from the best point of rotation. So now if we go back to the top and we look at the arm, we'll see that in fact the pivot is exactly where it should be. Where before, I don't know if you remember when I moved the forearm, we saw that the pivot was closer to being around here somewhere. And when I rotated this forearm, it didn't really make a difference because this was stationary, this didn't move. But now I can in fact move both, and as you can see, the patch and the arm move together. So I'm going to re-enter the symbol. And there's one last thing I'm going to do. I'm actually going to finish the other two by copying and pasting and going through the entire process. And then I'm going to fix the symbol in the main scenes timeline. Okay, so now that I've created the patch for the two other views, what I'm going to do now is delete all of these um, frames, except for the first frame of every view. So the first, second, and third uh, frames here hold the first frame for every view. Then what I'm going to do is uh, take the two last frames and drag them to the start of where they should be, so starting the three-quarter view, and then again to start the profile view. And then lastly, I'm going to extend this exposure by using the keyboard shortcut F5, or by right-clicking and selecting the menu item, Extend Exposure. So now if you go across, you'll see that there's a patch that's there um, in the proper manner for the three views. And one more comment I'd like to make about the pivots is that if you then decide to change the drawing pivot um, for this body part, its symbol's pivot will not update automatically. So you have to go back into the symbol and do what you did by, before um, by selecting the copy pivot to parent symbol operation. So the last thing I want to do is nudge this entire arm behind the collar. And because I know the patch is three increments in front of all the other drawings, I know I'm going to have to move this entire arm, actually four increments backwards, um, to flip it behind the collar here. So I'm going to do that by putting the focus on the camera and using the keyboard shortcut Alt up arrow. If you notice, it's, it's now behind the collar and also behind the body. And I'm going to have to do the same thing for the forearm and I suspect the hand as well. So let's find the forearm. And the hand. Okay. 
And then we only have the tail to nudge back. So if we select the tail, we do the same thing. So what you have to do next is go through the entire process that I just showed you for, for the knees, the other elbow, the feet, uh, the shoulders, etc. Um, so that all of these black lines are covered. And after that you should have a full and complete rabbit with no um, odd looking black lines at the joints. So that's it for the tutorial creating patches. Stay tuned for the next tutorial rigging.